In this video, I'm going to show you how to do projector images on the ground with switchback and brake light override and color changing and all sorts of cool stuff. Whew, it's going to be cool. Hey, what's up? I'm Chris from flyride.com. Welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel and you want to learn all about custom lighting, like what parts to use, how to install them, and three, why all this stuff is so awesome and why my face is turning green, then hit that subscribe and don't forget the notification icon so you don't miss any uploads. Really excited right now. We're going to go down to Boosted Motorsports, hang out with John. We're going to install some stuff for XK Glow. So I'm taking curb effects projectors as well as some underglow. We're going to film a video for a company so that they can have that video on their website. Super stoked, that's my future. I'm working toward it, I'm sharing with you. Let's go get it. So it turns out after Jonathug, my boy, just was cruising around the internet and finding different channels, he found John down here at Boosted Motorsports and he's all of 12 miles away from me. It's pretty incredible considering we're way out. We're far from everybody. I also know that this is the very first time I've messed with this camera while I'm driving. Um, camera and driving, it's bad. Don't, don't do the things that I, I mean you can do some of the things I do, just, just don't do a lot of them. Don't do the things I do. What's up buddy? What's up man? <laughs> Thanks for a short notice making it happen. Yeah, no worries. No <laughs> What's worries. up, man? There's not a battery in the front of this thing, but to get the XK Chrome hooked up, there's a little terminal. We're gonna hook it up right there. This whole car is difficult to get on ramps. It's super, super low to the ground. It's like kissing the pavement up in the front and John's just making it happen. So <laughs> we're, we're just gonna hook this stuff up, try to get these things to turn on and then give a few different examples of how it looks in the back. So let me walk you over there. So we're gonna have the flame LED projector basically in line with those exhaust tips. So it's gonna look like this Viper is just spitting LED flames onto the ground or something like that. We're not even really sure. We're just playing with different ideas to, I don't know, maybe help jog some creativity in the people that are gonna be installing this on their cars. And in the process, this Viper looks pretty crazy just to connect that battery. So we're gonna do that really quick. All right, so this was just a little trial. We were just messing around with changing this thing up to, to get some sort of an idea of how far things project, what it looks like when it's at an angle. So right now it's pretty close to the ground. It's probably closer to the ground than it normally would be. Uh, it's in an area just under where the heat from the exhaust would be hitting it directly. But I don't know, I mean, it looks, there's not, I've never seen anything that looks like that. <laughs> it does look pretty damn crazy. Fire shooting out the back of a Dodge Viper. And I'm gonna shoot a couple of pictures and get some more ideas adjusted a little bit more too. nothing that does that that you've ever seen before you know ideas ideas you guys have been asking for dodge durango dodge anything i haven't been doing it and john does it and he's doing it really well he's getting killer views on his channel i'm gonna link him up so we can uh, ping pong some ideas back and forth i'm gonna do some stuff on my channel and i'll send you guys over to his channel to check out what we do on this truck how long you've had the truck this truck i've only had for it might be two weeks okay. maybe but yeah. um yeah we did another dodge ram before this it seems to be a Mopar channel at this point, but we've done all sorts of vehicles. We had the Dodge Viper, 
We did a Dodge Ram supercharged, bunch of lighting stuff on that. Probably not as fancy as Chris's lighting. Uh, it's not a big deal. We're <laughs> gonna make his lights super fancy because he's got some aftermarket depot lights for this. So that updates the look already, but um, John wants to put some projectors in there. I wanna show you guys how to do that. I have multiple projector retrofit videos that we're gonna have coming up. So I figure one of them should be on a truck because you always ask about trucks and I never do it. So we're gonna do that. And it's only because of John and we're super close to each other and we're gonna do a bunch of videos. I think we're gonna have content on all of his toys. Yeah, we'll see lots of John, all right? Sounds good. Yeah, buddies. All right, I'm gonna see you back at the shop. Well, above and beyond everything else, what I learned today by working with the Dodge Viper was that if you have a low car, these are gonna be difficult parts to really get creative with, but you could still do it. So let's hook up an XK Chrome really quick, and I'm gonna test some extra functions that we didn't talk about, such as left turn signal, right turn signal, and brake light function. Those are all things built directly into the controller now. I wanna see how they look up on the wall. First thing I need to do is, I'm just gonna plug this in. This has the kill switch and all of that. So I'm gonna plug it into my XK Chrome, and that's this little guy. And this has uh, some new stuff. Normally, it just used to be a red wire, which was the brake light override. So you, uh, a lot of people thought it was an antenna. It's not an antenna. You would give that red wire power and it would automatically override whatever the settings were that were in here and it would turn the lights red. Great for brake light setups when you're using XK Glow products on the car or you know a bike or something like that. You wanna have brake lights, you just do that. Now we've got a left and a right turn signal and the nice easy power and ground setup. Now literally all we have to do is plug this thing in out of the box or however it is that I got it. It's basically like a super strong demon eye, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add these awesome little filters in there. So this is one of them. I'm not even sure which one it is. I might be able to see just by looking into it. So this one looks like it's the tattoo style. There's a little disc way down in there. This one is called tattoo style as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and join these up. Now one says left and one says right. That's a huge important factor here. The reason that they say left and right is because one of them's gonna have the image flipped. So if they both said left, then you couldn't do obviously a left and a right side. That's something I literally didn't know until just now. They're smart. <laughs> This one says angel wing style. Now I do know one of my parts showed up busted. They don't even know that yet, but they're such good products. I just wanted to play with them and mess with them myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one apart in a minute because I may have already flipped this little piece. Let's find out. This is what you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to cut these things open. I'm a bad man now, I do, I do bad things. I just wanted to understand what it is that's inside of this. So I'm gonna set this, which I think is holding everything together, on my little drill there. I'm gonna take, these things are like Legos. They seem like they're super, super carefully put together. So there's the bottom part. It looks like it's got a dome that's really amplifying the light out. That's awesome. And then there's another piece right here. Yo, check that out. That's our image. That's actually what we're seeing. Watch this. That's our little angel wing. Crazy. So this image is being amplified. So obviously, if I look at this thing, what I can tell is happening is that little graphic on there. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. All right. I have completely taken apart the product. Don't do this. This is like void warranty status. I just want to see it up close. Dude, I want to make like a fly ride one of these things. This is nuts. All right. I'm putting this thing back together so that I don't mess it up. Test it. Make sure I didn't break anything. Let's check out the image. Looks pretty dope. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this thing for now. So we can see in much better lighting what the reinstall looks like. So this little right hand side capsule 
It's going to go back down inside. And that little rubber piece at the end keeps it nice and snug. See right there? So that's going to go down in here. There's quite a few things that I've done on this channel that I know the manufacturers are not necessarily wanting you to do. And so, you know, in some cases it ruins parts and I could easily mess this thing up right now. I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to explore what would happen and how this thing's assembled and put together. And I guess the question now that I have is like, how do I get a little square plate made that shows the Flyrite logo? All right. Let's plug it back in. We've got two of them side by side. Let's actually change this angle and get up on the wall so we can see what they look like side by side. Ooh. So if you remember on the last video, I showed how to make this cool little turn signal flasher relay so you can bench test things. And then I realized, hey, I'm probably gonna need these things pretty often. So I made another one. And so what I can do right now is actually test left and right turn signal by hooking them up. I am gonna do a new version of this little control box. Wow, that scared me. Okay, that was scary. So I'm gonna do another video that shows just a very quick assembly of a multi-switch little box like this. All that they do is share power and I just break them down to individual switches. Right now, I'm gonna hook that thing up to my power source. I'm gonna hook up my other flasher relay here. So that's gonna be a left and right signal. And then I'm gonna take another one of my wires I'm going to hook it up to the red. Because I can control the left turn signal and the right turn signal, and I can flip a switch and send power down the red wire, I'm basically able to use these things as multiple functions all at once. So if this is coming off the back of a car, I'm able to control them just like that. And it looks, it looks super crazy to see a shape like that on the wall. So I'm really excited. I'm learning all about new technology, new stuff, new parts that other companies are bringing to market like XK Glow. As always, their stuff is amazing. I use it, I recommend it. And I don't know, I like just expanding my weird geeky knowledge with all this stuff. So if you did get anything out of today's video, smash that like button for me. I always appreciate it and it helps the channel grow. I wanna hear from you. How would you use these things? What part of the car would you put them? I need the help because I'm gonna be making videos for XK Glow and if I'm just like, I don't know, yeah, I need your help. I need it. You could tell. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with John today. It was pretty cool going to his shop. It was hot freaking balls. It was not a good day to do it, but I was into it. And the fact that I know I can do some cool stuff on that Viper. I can do that cool stuff on the S2000 and the Dodge Dakota. That's going to be a big one. The Dodge Dakota. I think we're going to do a lot of cool content in the future with John. I know we're going to do the projector retrofit. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys on future episodes with John, with myself, with XK Glow. Let's get it. Hey, I'm Chris from flyride.com. If you're new to the channel and you don't know all the shit I'm supposed to say, then you're just like me because I don't ever remember any of it. Sweet, let's try that again. All right.